Dr. Amy Novotny. Thanks so much for joining us. And I want to cover something about exercise bikes because it's a very common use of getting fitness and cardio. So with an exercise bike, this is more of a recumbent one instead of an upright bike. This one's great for anyone who maybe has some back pain, hip pain, knee pain. They want to be a little bit more in that reclined position and it targets your muscles in your body a little bit differently. So when you get set into a bike like this, you want to make sure that the seat and the distance from the pedals match your body. So with this one, I'm able to get my leg almost straight. And what's nice is it has the bands for my feet to get strapped in. But as I'm sitting here, my low back is slightly rounded. I'm not over arched like this. My butt's all the way back, but just slightly curled under. And as I'm pedaling, this is critical because this is a step that people often miss. You want to push, push forward, which kicks in your quads, but then also pull back with the foot. So the foot's pulling back, the heel's digging back. Guess what? That kicks in the hamstrings. You guys have heard me talk about that heel and the hamstring relationship. So it takes some focus to train your body to think push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. And that will truly work your legs evenly and get your thighs evenly strengthened. So it's not just push, 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 because that often then leads to an imbalance. And we want to keep the hamstrings active as much as the quads. And what's great is you can sit here and read only after you can feel activation of your muscles and your nervous system is very comfortable doing this. There are different types of bikes as well. And I mentioned there's an upright bike as well. Same types of concepts. You still want that push pull with an upright bike. And you want to make sure that your back is not overly arched because as soon as it becomes overly arched, your hip flexors kick in too much. And now it's hard to sense and feel your hamstrings. And we want to make sure those hamstrings are working with us because they help keep our pelvis in neutral. If you have any questions about this, reach out to me. There are many different types of bikes out there. You want to make sure you have one that fits your body and that you feel comfortable in. My email, amy at paverinstitute.com. Have a great week. We'll see you again next week. Bye now.